Casey Pack. This is the Arizona Department of Public Safety. Mesa Police Department is looking for a white male, Jason Kaur, 41 years old, 6 foot 3 inches, 275 pounds, black hair with brown eyes. Jason was last seen wearing an unknown color t-shirt with blue jeans. Jason has the mentality of a 6 year old and does not communicate well with others, especially law enforcement. He was last seen on foot in the area of Alma School Road and Rio Salado Parkway in the city of Mesa, Maricopa County, on February 25, 2024 at 0430 hours. If you have contact with the Silver Alert, please call 911. Monitor TV and radio for updates. emergency alert system in order to conduct a practice demo. This concludes this test of the New Hampshire emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.
with uh, females once. But it's not like that. So you, you took it on yourself. It's also on the Wikipedia page. stations of your area. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. This is an This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.
This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Our station is required to send a weekly test message using the emergency alert system encoder. This system is designed to inform you in the event of an actual emergency. This is only a test. This has been a required weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system.
K236CK Warrington. KWRE Warrington Troy Winsville. Ahora la poderosa 96.7 enviará una prueba del sistema de emergencia de la radio del Valle de Cochela. Lo anterior fue solo una prueba del sistema de emergencia de la radio. La poderosa 96.7 sirve a la comunidad de todo el Valle de Cochela. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Test for all of Puerto Rico and all of Virgin Islands beginning at 10 o'clock a.m. and ending at 11 o'clock a.m. Test message I pause open cap ES feet configuration test message. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. If this was an actual emergency, further instructions would be listed.
This is a required weekly test. This is only a test for Blue Earth County. This is the required weekly test of the emergency alert system for the state of Georgia. This is a test from the State of Idaho Emergency Alert System. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test was conducted from the Idaho State Emergency Alert Center System. In, Marine, in the event Idaho. of an emergency, this included. system would bring you important information. This test was conducted from the Idaho State Communications Center in Meridian, Idaho.
Alert system. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test was conducted from the Idaho State Communications Center in Meridian, Idaho, and is now concluded. Weekly test for Fillmore MN, beginning at 11.43 a.m. and ending at 12.13 p.m. This is a required weekly test. This is only a test for Fillmore County MN. Wick County Emergency Management will be testing the outdoor warning sirens at noon today. Sedgwick County outdoor warning sirens are tested every Monday at noon, except holidays, and when threatening weather is present. Today we will be testing the alert mode, for one minute. The alert mode is a steady tone used for tornado warning, the attack mode is a classic rise and fall sound used for air attack warning in times of war. Outdoor warning sirens are designed to be an early warning device primarily for persons who are outside away from the television and or radio. Remember, when the outdoor warning sirens sound, take cover, tune into local media, take action. Emergency management officials highly recommend citizens keep a NOAA weather radio in their homes, preferably in the bedroom, with a tone alert for those times when you are not monitoring public media. This broadcast originates from Sedgwick County Emergency Management located at 714 North Main, Wichita, Kansas. WPMQ 391. No action required test only. Open copy ASQ configuration test message. Union that most Texans support IDF. This after a ruling in Alabama that gives frozen embryos the same rights. Test for all of Alabama, all of Arkansas, all of Iowa, all of Illinois, Indiana, all of Minnesota, all of Missouri, all of Mississippi, all of North Dakota. All of Nebraska, all of Oklahoma, all of South Dakota, all of Tennessee, all of Texas, and all of Wisconsin beginning at 12 o'clock p.m. and ending at 1 o'clock p.m. Test message I pause open cap ES feet configuration test message. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system.
This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Message pause open cap AS feet configuration test message. Required weekly or required monthly test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Esta es una prueba. Esta estación está transmitiendo la prueba semanal o mensual requerida por el sistema de alarma y de emergencia. Esta es solamente una prueba.
The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Alaska beginning at 3 o'clock p.m. and ending at 4 o'clock p.m. Test message I pause open cap ES feet configuration test message. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Hawaii beginning at 4 o'clock p.m. and ending at 5 o'clock p.m. Test message I pause open cap ES feet configuration test message. The civil authorities have issued a fire warning for Logan NE, beginning at 3.08 p.m. and ending at 3.53 p.m. There is a grass fire west of Stapleton. Please be aware of the situation and prepare to evacuate if necessary. This is an activation of the Amber Alert system at the request of the Wilmer Police Department. The Wilmer Police Department in Dallas County is searching for Jaislyn Mendez, a Hispanic girl, nine years old, four feet tall, weighing 100 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. The Wilmer Police Department is also looking for Gioni Mendez, a Hispanic boy, five years old, three feet tall, weighing 60 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes, wearing unknown clothing. Police are also looking for 26-year-old Jacqueline Hernandez, a Hispanic woman, five foot, four inches tall, weighing 193 pounds with brown hair, brown eyes, wearing unknown clothing in connection with their abduction. The suspect is driving a gray 2013 Dodge Challenger with a chrome gas cover bearing Texas license plate number TGF 1548. That's a gray 2013 Dodge Challenger license plate TGF 1548. The suspect was last seen in Wilmer, Texas. Anyone with information on this alert is asked to contact the Wilmer Police Department or call 911. at 4.54 p.m. and ending at 5.54 p.m. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system from WJONIP Radio. The tones you just heard indicate the emergency alert system has been activated for your area. In the event of an actual emergency, such as a tornado warning or a civil emergency message, this system would provide you important news, instructions, or information. WJONIP Radio serves the Washington, D.C. metro area. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This, the civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of American Samoa beginning at 5 o'clock p.m. and ending at 6 o'clock p.m. Test message I pause open cap ES feet configuration test message. Four feet, one hundred pounds.
Mendez, brown hair, brown eyes, and Jenny Mendez, Hispanic male, 5 years old, 3 feet, 60 pounds, brown hair and brown eyes, wearing unknown clothing. Police are looking for Jacqueline Hernandez, 26 years old, Hispanic female, 5 feet 04 inches, 193 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, wearing unknown clothing in connection with their abduction. The suspect is driving a gray 2013 Dodge Challenger with a chrome gas cover bearing Texas license plate number TGF1548. The suspect was last seen in Wilmer, Texas. Law enforcement officials believe these children to be in grave or immediate danger. If you have any information regarding this abduction, call the Wilmer Police Department at 972-441-6565. News media point of contact is Wilmer Police Department at 972-441-6565. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. The required weekly test for Shawnee KS beginning at 5.38 p.m. and ending at 5.53 p.m. This is a test of the Shawnee County IPWAS. This is only a test. No actions needed. EM minus 6. This is a test of the Shawnee County IPWAS. This is only a test. No actions needed. No action is needed. This is only a test. The civil authorities have issued an immediate evacuation for Logan N.E. beginning at 4.43 p.m. and ending at 6.43 p.m. The Logan County Sheriff is requiring immediate evacuation for homes located north of Gabby and east of Highway 83 due to the fire. Please assist those in need. The Logan County Sheriff is requiring immediate evacuation for homes located north of Gabby and east of Highway 83 due to the fire. Please assist those in need. Please be safe when evacuating. National Weather Service in Amarillo has issued a fire warning at the request of Gray County Office of Emergency Management for Eastern Gray and Western Wheeler Counties. At 4.51 p.m. Central Standard Time, a dangerous wildfire was located 7 miles east of Lafours, or 18 miles southeast of Pampa, moving rapidly eastward at 3 to 5 miles per hour. Areas impacted, Lafours eastward to the Wheeler County line far western portions of Wheeler County to include Kellerville. Additional information, smoke and fire will present a threat to life and property. Kellerville will potentially be impacted with parts of Highway 273 southeast of Lafours. Be prepared to evacuate quickly if requested and follow all safety instructions from local emergency management officials. Do not drive into smoke. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.
The National Weather Service in Amarillo has issued a fire warning at the request of Hutchinson County Office of Emergency Management and Amarillo Office of Emergency Management for southwestern Hutchinson, northeastern Potter, northwestern Carson, and southeastern Moore counties. At 5.22 p.m. Central Standard Time, a dangerous wildfire was located six miles west of Lake Meredith, or 19 miles southeast of Dumas, moving rapidly eastward at 3 to 5 miles per hour. Areas impacted, southeast Moore County, northeast Potter County, southwest Hutchinson County, and far northwest Carson County. Additional information, smoke and fire will present a threat to life and property. This fire is looking to potentially impact Lake Meredith and the town of Fritch. Be prepared to evacuate quickly if requested and follow all safety instructions from local emergency management officials. Do not drive into smoke. Abduction. The Chapel Hill Police Department is searching for Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown is an 8 month old white male, 1 foot 7 inches tall. He has blonde hair and blue eyes. The abductors are Destiny Ariel Cothran, described as a white female, 5 foot 3 inches tall, and weighs 120 pounds. The second abductor is Justin Lee Brown, white male, 5 foot 8 inches tall weighs 160 pounds. They were last seen traveling in a 1997 white Mercury Mystique with temporary tags possible 031724 or 292-79542. If you have any information regarding this abduction, please call Chapel Hill Police Department at 919-612 8240 or call 911 or star HP. This is an Amber Alert. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. System in order to conduct a practice demo. This concludes this test of the New Hampshire emergency alert system. Required weekly test for last MN, a steel MN, beginning at 9.03 p.m. and ending at 10.03 p.m. This is a required weekly test of iPaws from the Rice and Steel 911 Center. This is only a test.
National Weather Service in Amarillo has issued a fire warning at the request of Texas A&M Forest Service for northwestern Hemp Hill and eastern Roberts counties. At 8.05 p.m. Central Standard Time, a dangerous wildfire was located 11 miles west of Canadian, or 13 miles north of Miami, moving rapidly east at 3 to 5 miles per hour. Areas impacted, Roberts and Hemp Hill counties including the city of Canadian and Highway 83 and 60. Additional information, smoke and fire will present a threat to life and property for the city of Canadian and Highway 83 and 60. Be prepared to evacuate quickly if requested and follow all safety instructions from local emergency management officials. Do not drive into smoke.